This is Phil Stamper, the president of wrestling, and you're watching the Three Count Podcast. And always remember to trust in Phil. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Chaz Evans, and you are listening to uh, Now Entering the Ring. Uh, let's go down the roster. Introducing first, uh, he is the 67-time coronavirus surviving. Smack your mama because the chicken tastes like crack. Universal World Heavyweight Smackdown versus Raw featuring ECW 2008 World Heavyweight African Dice. Aspera World Smackdown Tic Tac Toe Film Wrestling Champion uh, Chris Idol. Wow, always happy to be here. And introducing next, uh, he is the Dark Lord himself, uh, hailing from the underworld right next to Satan himself. He is the man that is a part of the Illuminati. But don't tell him that to your face, because it's not the Illuminati. He'll tell you it's written house. But ladies and gentlemen, he is the evil one, the evil genius, the supervillain, Damien Fatal. Uh, if you don't like me, that's your problem, and uh, I apologize for nothing. Introducing next, uh, he is my little brother, and that is the only reason he's on this show. He doesn't watch any wrestling, even though he's watching Monday Night Raw as we speak. Uh, he only watches Wrestle Talk and What Culture on YouTube, and he's a Chisel Adonis fanboy. Ladies and gentlemen, he is uh, the Napster. He is Josh. He is JJ, but now he's Q. First of all, I want to say, um, Cliff, you suck. You're a terrible human being. Whoa. You're trash. You're awful. And yeah. Now Maybe. that's not the way. I like to thank the sidewalks keeping that street. Dangerous times going on. There's a revolutionary war going on. So make sure you lock and load it. Chitty, chitty, bang. Murder everything. And Cliff, you stink. You suck. Well then. So. Um, if you can't tell already, um, yes, this is now entering the ring. This is now entering the ring. You know how we do with now entering the ring. And because this is a now entering the ring, it's a very special one. We had to bring a special guest for this episode of now entering the ring. And oh, if you didn't know, uh, now entering the ring is, uh, yeah, it's Cliff's, it's Cliff's uh, now entering the ring, you know. <laughs> so um, he's the one that's going to get uh, roasted here on the three count because, you know, Whenever someone really close to the three count gets to now enter the ring, uh, you know, we got to roast them. So with that being said, we have to introduce the special guest here. He was on our, our show not too long ago um, because this episode will probably won't be coming out until after the, uh, you know what, actually, yeah, this, yeah, because the, the episode's already out now. Anyway, he's been on the show before, ladies and gentlemen. He's Cliff's, like, bestest of bestest friends that isn't named Chaz. Ladies and gentlemen, Anthony is back here in the Three Count War Room. What up, fuckers? I want to thank the sidewalk for keeping me off the streets. <laughs> how dare you? Uh, <laughs> this, is, this is how this show is going to go. But anyway, ladies and gentlemen, it's now entering the ring, featuring the Red Dog, Cliff Miller. Cliff, how does it feel to be uh to know that you're about to get roasted? <laughs> Yo, why are you trying to bite me? You, also, you forgot. You forgot her. Oh my goodness, I forgot. How could I have done that? I, you know what? Shame on me. Awful. So, ladies and gentlemen, Red. Oh my gosh. We have to introduce the the uh the sixth man on our basketball team here at the three count podcast coming off the bench ladies and gentlemen we got the unofficial official mascot of the three count the princess herself kira everyone applause 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 mm -hmm. her royal highness has arrived i don't know what to say right now <laughs> That's okay. We, you know, that's the princess of the three counts. So whatever she says goes. And she has decided that she's going to go first here on the Now Enter the Ring episode featuring the red dog, Cliff Miller. So you got this. The floor is yours, princess. Everyone bow. Come up with your character. 
how to come up with my character. Um, so my name is Clifford, and it's like the big red dog. And um, I used to get bullied in elementary school. And so the name just kind of came with all the different parts of me. Mm-hmm. And so that's how, like, it came together. I know you did. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. What's your next question? Um, what did you want to be when you grew up when you were younger? Um, Batman. Oh, when I was your age, actually. He wanted I, to be Batman. I wanted to be a pro basketball player. And then I stopped growing at 5'9 and realized that my dream was <laughs> going to come true. <laughs> God. <laughs> shorty, big short, short. Yeah. I was like, I was like, all right, bet. Five nine, I guess I'll never be a basketball player. So uh, Isaiah to Thomas life. laughs at you. He's five eight. Not worried about him. He's also black. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I can't. <laughs> That's how this is going, folks. We're not even Oh man, keep what going. Wait, five going. minutes in. Ahead, right. Last question. Who is your favorite? Who is your favorite character in Hawaii, and why? Who's my favorite character in Hawaii? Yeah, like your favorite Disney character, or what? Oh, my favorite Disney character. Uh, my favorite Disney character probably Simba from The Lion King. And why? Why? Simba even in Hawaii? Wait, well, he's not Hawaiian. Hmm. But if you're talking about like my favorite Hawaiian character, I would say Stitch. Why? Because why? Stitches is awesome, man. He just learns a really cool lesson about family and about unity and stuff, and so you get to get to have the interaction. Mm-hmm. Plus, he has that really cool rasp. He's like, <laughs> 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 oh, oh, means family. Family means no one gets left behind. There you go. <laughs> Life lessons here on the three count. Well, all righty, it's time to move on over, everyone. <laughs> Let's thank uh, the princess and applaud her out as she goes. Goodbye, everyone. I will make my return someday on the three count again. Oh, my goodness. She's so dramatic. Close the door, Let's get into brass tacks, boys. All righty. <laughs> now that the, uh, the coach This show is, is rated. Rated R. Yeah. So, hey, we can't yeah. see you, bro. <laughs> Come on, uh, interview. Because I'm John Cena. I mean, you wish you could be half the man John Cena he is. He is half um, the man that John Cena is. dare you. He smirked <laughs> John Cena's name like that. Anyway, so, let, ladies and gentlemen, we got to get this, uh, this roast of the Red Dog Miller. You thought you were listening to now entering the ring. Let's redo this intro. Ladies and gentlemen, all of the listeners out there in Three Count Podcast land, you are listening to the roast. Of the Red Dog. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, oh, <laughs> here we go. Let's start this off. Anthony, we got the best friend of the Red Dog. He, he has his glass. Oh, it's about to get interesting, ladies and gentlemen. Um, fair warning, if you have small children listening to this, uh, guess what? Their podcast is over now. So uh, be there for the next episode or be square. <laughs> I have to do that for the kids. Hello, Cliff. <laughs> Hello, Truth. Hello, Red Dog. How are you today? I'm doing very well, KL. Thanks for uh, asking. Shit's good right here, man. So, for what y'all don't know is, he likes to call me KL because we used to rap together, but his famous line was, he eats critics like potato chips. Hmm. So, that's my, that's my line. All right. All right, buddy. So, first off, where do we even begin? We've, I've, I, we've been best friends since seventh grade, eighth grade. You're, you're when you were in eighth grade. Yeah, you're live now. You're doing your, your the dream, dude. But we started back then on the trampoline. Back, back when we did that. What was one of your favorite moments when we were wrestling on that tramp? Oh, trampoline? um, probably when I did the backflip off of the ten foot shed. Spot monkey. Yeah, it was. It was. It was really a spot monkey move. Um, no, I'm sorry. It wasn't ten foot. It was a. Uh, it was a 15 foot shed. But yeah, I did a backflip off of it. It was awesome. Oh jeez. And why is that? Um, there was no real reason for it. It was literally just me doing it. 
<laughs> there was no rhyme or reason, I'll be honest. No wonder you like the young bucks. <laughs> the red dog had rabies, that's all. <laughs> I was the young bucks for the young bucks for young bucks. <laughs> all right, buddy. Uh, what do you want to accomplish in the next year of your professional wrestling career? In the next year? Oh, wow. Um, you know, to be real, man, like, in the next year, I just want to inspire kids to know, like, it, it doesn't matter, like, how long you, you, you wait. I want them to understand that you can do anything you want to do, and you're going to be able to do anything you do as long as you're willing to put in the work and the time and just be dedicated to whatever you want to do. So, you know, I'm, I'm starting this off at 34 years old, and I want people to know, like, this has been something I've wanted to do for a long time, and I, I made my, my debut, and it was one of those awesome things to do, man. So that's where it is. I got you. I got you. One last question for you, buddy. One last question. Just one last question. Oh. You're not coming to my wedding. Oof. And that, that's, a, that's a burner right there. But I watched you uh, debut, made your pro wrestling debut, slide it in. Who taught you to swing? You swung like this. Are you chopping something up? <laughs> you know, it's, it's appropriate that you ask that question because <laughs> – your mom taught me how to do that when I was fucking her. Dixie's a nice lady. Take that back. <laughs> wow. No, how did it feel, though, no, but for real, how did it feel to finally make your in-ring debut? What were the feelings leading up to the moment of you actually going out, running, and sliding in? Uh, Bill, ask, asking a test, man, I was nervous as shit. Like, <laughs> getting ready to go. Like, I will, I will be open about it. Um. But up until that moment, man, like, I was he nervous. Was like a, he was a little girl who was about to go out for his first ballet recital. That's how nervous this man was. Yep. <laughs> I was standing there. Let me tell you the story. I'm interrupting Clifford's answer because this is my show, and I still can do whatever the hell I want. So, and with this roast of Clifford Miller, I'm interrupting his answer. So, let me tell you all about Clifford Miller and how he uh, was legit nervous, okay? Legit, like, shaking at the knees. For his 30-second run-in. <laughs> this motherfucker, man. I, 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 I just feel like he was, like, pacing back and forth. Oh, he was doing worse, okay? He was sitting down, okay? I was standing up there. We were watching the, uh, the match that was going on. And let me tell you, boy, it wasn't a barn burner. So, he gets up and he's, he's sitting out there at the chair. And real, I'm just standing looking through the curtain watching the match and – you know, me and Cliff were chit-chatting because, you know, that's what me and Cliff do all day, every day. Um, and he, I can see him. I can see it in his eyes. There's a slight twitch in his left eye. And I've noticed that about Cliff because I'm, 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 real, I'm real good at noticing things about people. That left eye twitch, that's when you know he's a, he really cares about something and starts twitching. <laughs> listen, if you go listen to the rant of him, him bullying, that left eye was twitching the whole time. And it was really weird. So that's how I know when you care about something – he twitches. But anyway, he was nervous. I, I literally thought he was going to pee on himself before he even went out there. And I, I was worried because guess what? I, I was hoping that he wouldn't pull his groin even worse, you know, you know, the groin injury. It's like, oh, his 30-second run in, and now he re-injured his groin. Because, I mean, hey, a three-quarter roll? Jeez. Anyway, but continue your answer, buddy. It's not my turn yet. <laughs> yeah. No, yeah, so I was legit nervous. <laughs> once, I, once I slid in, um, so I'll be honest, man, there's a, there's a bunch of emotions that went through, right? Like one, I was excited because I was now in the ring. Um, and then like, then I felt like horrible because like, like, uh, I, I know I'm going to, I'm going to burn somebody when I say this. Like, I kind of feel like there's a golden rule, right? When it comes to like wrestling, when someone comes out to save you, like you either A, lean on them or B, lean on the ropes, right? You just don't mm -hmm. flop to the ground. And, uh, yeah, that's what I got. And I was kind of, like, disappointed in it because I was, like, that just kind of makes me look dumb. So I was, like, it is what it is. But I don't know, man. Like, it was, it was cool, man. And getting to the back and listening to everybody give me, like, 
critiques of our 30 second thing. I was, it was cool, man. I appreciated all the love that I got from those guys too, man. So it was definitely awesome. All right, JJ. All I got. So on you, JJ, what you got, buddy? Okay. The rapey dog. Rapey dog. Oh goodness. Here we go. My first question is, why do you hate me? <laughs> <laughs> Listen, man, if I didn't make fun of you, it would clearly let you know that I didn't like you, which is why I never make fun of Damien. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so my next question, what inspired you to come up with um, your gimmick? Like, was it like Deathstroke or like hit from Dragon Ball Super or, you know? Like, what inspired the Hitman character or gimmick? Um, you know, man, it's like, because I was in the military uh, for six years, served active duty Air Force. Um, and it just, the, the, the Hitman character is just like an extension of me, just from my military days. And I think uh, part of it too, like, I kind of wanted to be like that cool kind of hitman, like uh, Iceman from Top Gun. So I thought that that was always going to be cool. So that's kind of what I was like going for, like aiming for. So just kind of like a mix between him and then, I don't know, maybe like Deadpool or something. I don't know. Just it's kind of like an asshole mercenary. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's, that's tough. That's tough. Um, my next question. And your last question. That was your third one. Right. Okay. I got to make this one count. <laughs> he was about to do another question. Hold up. Let's just talk about how Josh was literally about to like ruin everything. Like he doesn't have the most attendance next to Cliff on, 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 and now entering the rings. <laughs> um, Are, is, is he going to ask Cliff to help him rip his shirt? You know what? He might. Oh, oh, he oh, I'm gone. just kidding, JJ. He's gone, and there's the walk-off. Oh, <laughs> boy. I, All right. I tried uh -huh. so hard. And got so far. But in the end, it doesn't really matter. And you know that's funny. That you used that. that. Guess what? You know, now that we're here, and you did that. So I have this story, you know, about Josh for that song. And Justin <laughs> knows the story. That song has been Josh's wrestling theme song since he was like six years old. He has always said, in the end, if I ever wrestle, in the end, when we used to, you know, play wrestle in the basement and we used to go on YouTube yeah. and play the music, Josh goes, I'm like, what's your theme music? In the end, in the end. And this man has the most longest intro for that song. <laughs> and then he just. You know, it's, like the, it's like the slow buildup, you know? But This man's okay. entrance was longer than The Undertaker at WrestleMania 31. <laughs> okay, it was not that bad. Oh, <laughs> uh, anyway, it's not about you. Ask your last yeah, question. Yeah, exactly. It's about Cliff. Okay, oh, yeah. it's about Ask the rabies dog. The rabies, do whatever. Rabies dog. Okay. <laughs> so my last question. Um, I'm gonna call you that in the promo, Cliff. <laughs> you better give me credit, God dang it. Yeah, I can give anyway, you credit. Anyway, as I said, we had a time machine. Time we machine. We fast forward five years. Five years. <laughs> Good. Now you're now you're even older, man, and even <laughs> older dog. <laughs> so, where do you see yourself in five years? Um, I kind of hope that I'm working for, uh, like a larger name company. I mean, I'm not really worried about like where. So whether we're at like Titan or Northeast Wrestling, or if I'm down in like uh um, florida market or something i don't really care if I, pwg you know depending i just don't i don't really know um but i like I how you, i like how you said the florida market i just whatever whatever's out there i'm not really worried about it <laughs> <laughs> i love anybody you want to take me <laughs> flatbacks woods flatbacks wrestling i'm pretty sure by this time tyler breeze and who's you know, this the entertainment tonight <laughs> i don't know i don't know someone had entertainment i heard that but go ahead. Yeah, I think I think working for like a for like a B to like A minus promotion and just like being a mid card champ somewhere in there, working my way up. Thank you, Raby Dog. Thank All you. right. 
All righty, Damien, the super villain, the Dark Lord. All right. Your, your um, Majesty, you're up. All right. So, uh, hey, Cliff, I've always wondered, like, what are you? I'm a male. Panamanian. No, no. What what race are you? Oh, um, <laughs> I'm Panamanian. <laughs> White and Panamanian. Ah, uh, okay. Cool. Now I know. All right. Cool. I'm totally confused. I had no clue. <laughs> <laughs> uh, sorry, that had to be my first question. Um, <laughs> it's an important first question. It is a per important first question. I just wanted to make sure if I said something racist, you know. <laughs> it, it, you it, you hit the right points. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's weird. It's weird that you say that, right? Because Chaz is under the impression that black people can't be racist. I just want to put that out there. Oh, no. Oh, God, no. We're totally racist. <laughs> he lied to you. <laughs> oh, he totally lied to you. <laughs> <laughs> he wasn't telling me. He was telling his tag team partner that. Ah, <laughs> uh, oh, we're, we're horribly racist. All right. Um, I <laughs> see. I guess I'll do something wrestling related. Did anybody already ask like why did you want to be a wrestler? No, that's a good question though. Um, yeah, the reason I wanted to be a wrestler, man, was um, as a you kid, wanted to like, be like Batman. I, well, Batman's not a da, 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 da. I want to be like Spider-Man. At least he wrestled. Um, Dude. <laughs> to, be, to be honest. Uh, I mean, you're right. He, he beat Randy Savage. In a cage. That's in important cage. to note. Yeah, okay. yep, in a cage. <laughs> in a cage. <laughs> in a cage that was filled with like, well, kind of, it wasn't even. I don't know, man. <laughs> it, was, it was a different kind of cage. It wasn't like a normal cage either. Anyway. No, because the, there was the, like, the, the valets were bringing in weapons. Yeah. And... That promotion was real shady. <laughs> <laughs> it was. We're going to uh, put it on a debate topic one day. Just talk about the shady uh, wrestling promotion that Spider-Man worked at and Randy Savage worked <laughs> in the main event. <laughs> talk one about day. the uh, bone saw. That was his name. Bones no, that man, yeah, listen, that was, yeah, Bonesaw and that company, but in WWE, he was Randy <gasps> Savage. I know how, I know how trademarks work now. <laughs> Intellectual so, property. <laughs> I'll tell you, I'll, I'll tell you why, I'll tell you um, why I want to become a wrestler. So, I was a kid, man, and uh, it was Saturday morning, it was like 1991, I think. It was the first time, like, I'd ever seen, like, anything on TV, like, wrestling related. And uh, Macho Man was tied up to the ropes as Jake the Snake Roberts came in with a cobra uh, and proceeded to beat the shit out of set cobra to get it to attack macho man and then i saw the undertaker and i was like yo these are like this is awesome and i always wanted to be a part of it and i did kind of like whatever i could to like get into wrestling and then i kind of fell out and then like in 94 i found uh wcw saturday main event and saw chris jericho for the first time and thought he was really cool and then a couple of years later, I found Rey Mysterio uh, in Panama City, uh, Panama City, Florida, and he beat Dean Malenko, and I was like, I was hooked. And since then, I was like, I want to be able to do this. And I was like, I can do this because Rey Mysterio is like five foot five, like 120 pounds. It's like I'm somewhere around there, <laughs> so I wanted to do it. And then he didn't grow anymore. I made it five nine. <laughs> All right, my last question. Why do you hate JJ so much? <laughs> <laughs> have, you, have you seen his shirt ripping abilities? Oh, um, it's jealousy. Got you. All it right. is. It 100% is. You know, uh, to be honest, man, uh, JJ, you have like, out of all of us, you have the brightest future because you're young. And I think that's what I envy the most. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, thank you. I was on mute. I was talking and on mute. Thank you, Cliff. <laughs> you know, even though I called you the rabbi dog, you know I still love you, bro. <laughs> Appreciate it, Hulk Light. <laughs> <laughs> Call him Hulk. Listen, you, you're all right. And and oh, he walked out again. All and right, that's another shot. Every yep. single time. That's another one. Oh, Shit. Man. Yep. There we go. Bottoms up, guys. <laughs> all I'm saying is, if I ever became a wrestler. Oh my God! I'm gonna have the awesome heel turn and just turn on every single one of you and beat all you up. I'm like, I, first of all, first, first of all, I'm I'm super kicking you right in your mouth. Oh my God! And that's not a shoot. <laughs> I was just gonna I was just gonna hit him with my axe handle. Yeah, yeah, you know, 
we always talk about me, you know, with my heavy foot. I'm just going to really just deck Josh shit. <laughs> I was just <laughs> just because he's my brother. It's like you haven't season. done that already. Exactly my point. Like you haven't dropped me on my head. Don't tell. Don't get it. We don't. That's like it just started. <laughs> like let's not let's not do this on Chris now into the ring. <laughs> you see his face is because <laughs> he he has. I took a I took a mean pedigree for Josh one day. <laughs> oh my god. Anyway, it's time for Chris Idol's turn. I don't Chris. Okay. Low key, the man who is responsible for all of this because if it was not for him, I wouldn't have known anything about Cliff. <laughs> it is so, his fault. It, yes, it's it true. is. <laughs> yes. The reason why Cliff is in our lives is Justin's fault. <laughs> Make it sound God, like Cliff's dude. a bad person. I didn't know. I'm talking about Damien. I would, you know, I'd all for that. I'd be like, oh, y'all, can blame, y'all, bad, y'all can blame y'all can blame somebody else for that. I blame he Stewie. About him. Who? I wasn't gonna mention him. The name that we did not mention? That one? Yeah. Oh, oh somebody <laughs> exactly. that got outed in professional wrestling? I'm sorry. I shouldn't go there. Go ahead, Idol. Yeah. This is about fuck, to that turn nigga. To... <laughs> fuck that nigga. <laughs> fuck that nigga. God. That's what I got to say. All right, Cliff. My, my, uh, my first question. Uh, what's your favorite match of all time? Uh, WrestleMania 22. I knew that one. I knew that was Ray Mysterio versus Randy Orton versus <gasps> Kurt, Kurt Angle. That's a good. That's a good one. I watched that pay per view live. That was the second WrestleMania I ever saw live. So crazy thing is, is that Anthony and I actually watched that. We watched that um, WrestleMania together, and it's gonna get some. If anybody asks, Cliff cried. I Cliff cried. cried. I cried. <laughs> I cried. I cried. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna fake it. I cried. And I cried because it was my favorite wrestler of all time winning the championship for the first time. And to know, like, how far, like, he went from the WCW days where they told him, like, he wasn't going to make anything because he was just going to be at this ceiling. And to see him, like, achieve at this ceiling was, like, a whole whole thing for me. Yeah. Cliff, I'm not going to take that from you. I'm not going to knock you because I definitely cried when AJ debuted at the Royal Rumble. <laughs> I did. I, I cried, yeah. Wow. I'm a huge AJ Styles fan. I watch, like, That's the only dude I literally watch for on TNA. Like At a young age, AJ Styles was doing some insane shit, and I thought it was the most coolest thing since sliced bread. I still think everything he does is the coolest thing <laughs> since sliced bread. So when he debuted at the Rumble, it was like, oh, uh, you know, I felt his emotion, and I cried for him that day. But no, nah, that's a good one, Cliff. Now that I know that you cried on that that one, we have to watch that together so I can make you cry again. But that's sure after it, a bunch it of It won't results. take much. <laughs> I just know the results. I mean, okay, let me be real. And something else that happened in that match too was that POD was at that WrestleMania and they were performing yep. uh, Ray Mysterio's theme song. And at the time, like Anthony and I, we were huge fans of Sonny. And to see him like on stage and performing, like seeing POD on stage, man, was lit. So... Yeah, no, it, that was that was a great moment because I don't think anyone ever thought Rey Mysterio would win a world title, especially not in WWE. No, agreed. So that was cool. Um, all right, my second question. I would have picked uh, Angle to go over. He was out of contract. I didn't say that. <laughs> you would have picked Angle to go. You would pick the Pillhead to go over. Um. Anyway. My second question. <laughs> wow. <laughs> said that. Hey, hey, Anthony, you got to drink to that one. That was a good one. <laughs> Take a shot for that one, guys. Oh, All right, so my second question. Um, what is one match that you would like to have on the Indies? One match that you – that. When it's all said and done, you want to look back on it and say, all right, I'm glad I had that match. What is that match for you? Uh, me and Rey Mysterio. I don't care what federation. I don't care where. I just want that match. It's me and Rey. I think. Okay. Yeah. I just, I, I, to be honest, man, like that would just be the dream match to have. And then like after, after Rey, um, AJ Styles and then 
from there. Just kind of like a, a, a barrage of like other people I would love to run with. Okay. And my last question for you. Um, what's been the part of pro wrestling training for you? Three uh, quarter rolls. That's actually a really good question. <laughs> Damn. I said the hardest, not his weakness. Three. Uh, <laughs> <you know>. <laughs> <laughs> Boom, boom. Everybody taking everybody, their shots. Everybody getting me. Uh, you know what? I'll be real. The hardest that the hardest thing for me so far um, has been character work. Um, like always, like always selling, and like always, like like playing to the crowd. It's been the hardest thing for me to do. Yeah, right, dude. You won an Oscar for your junior class play. <laughs> you weren't supposed to tell people about that. Oh, so Cliff, uh, you're a thespian. Bro, okay, you know what? If we're gonna put it out, oh, I know. We're gonna put it out oh, there. I knew it. You say he's a lesbian? Let's be honest. <laughs> Is that what I you said, just called him? I said thes thespian. Oh, okay, lesbian. I swear to God, I heard lesbian. I was just listen, Chaz. How Cliff chooses to live his life is his own I business. Know. We shouldn't be putting exactly. that out here on the show. Okay, right? God. <laughs> I'll, okay. We're supposed to be progressive here. <laughs> I, I also have a video of you, Cliff. Remember, I also have a video of you you have him doing a like a, car- a no a karaoke <laughs> him singing Timon and Pumbaa song from The Lion King. Oh yeah. Oh, oh that was. Oh, I want to see that. Oh, oh, that was a thing. Well. That was definitely a thing. I definitely, I'm going to have to get that from you. Wait, well, Cliff, you're singing Disney classics? Oh, yeah. Cliff, oh, why shit. did, Cliff, why did you put it on Cliff. the car ride back so I could stay up? I would have stayed up for a Disney uh, classic sing-along. Actually, to be back. honest, on our, on our trip, I was going to play Hamilton all the way back, and then you pass out after I dropped <laughs> <Bruh. laughs> That was just oh. like, I was like, whatever. Listen, you know what? I, I'll, I'll be honest, man. In high school, though, man, like I left no st- no uh, stone unturned. Um, I was a band geek. I was in choir. I did Glee Club. I was uh, did speech. I did acting. Like yeah, I did. I, I ran through it all. He's I can't even. <laughs> <I did. laughs> wow. <laughs> all right. What did all you say? Right. Oh. oh my god. He said that. Oh, oh he, he said, said that. that. I'm about oh, to no. salt the shit out of my friend. I'm about to make a trip oh. to Lincoln. He's oh, not he's, cutting. He said that. He said oh, that on the air. He definitely he's, said it on the air. Please, oh. please tell me that was clear as day so that I, every all of our listeners can hear that too. I I'll hope read, they I'll did. Re, I'll repeat it. Sorry, Cliff. It. I did not mean to uh, out you there. I didn't hear you at first, so I want you to repeat it again just so that we can get a second on there. <laughs> Gay porn. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> that one video. <laughs> Ooh, that one oh that one video can always do it i can't Who's wait second? now people are gonna start calling me like cliff sullivan and be like oh lars miller you know what i'm talking about <laughs> <laughs> wow oh, oh my god i'm glad now into the rings go on youtube so they can Man. see all of this <laughs> i'm taking another oh. shot off of that shit yeah, same that was a oh. good one oh, that was a good one oh, that's crazy cheers yeah that was wild. A- all right love you buddy Oh, we gotta take one. Away. Oh, wait, we have to take two because uh, Chris Idol definitely just left two rooms. He left his <laughs> living room to go into his bedroom. Now he's leaving his bedroom and back to the living room. That's two shots, bro. Right, everybody, there we go. And this is how this show goes off the rails, mad quick. Yep. I love how Josh is drinking his uh his water. That's right. We don't support underage drinking. Anyway, you know? I'll- He's a minor? Yeah, right? <laughs> God damn. All righty. Technically, no, but I just can't drink. How are you going to be a minor and talk about R. Kelly shit? <laughs> <laughs> oh, goodness. All right, here we go. He leaves. Uh, that was funny. So, uh, all right. Thank you. Oh, that was your last question? Yeah, yeah. I feel like yeah. Justin asked like fifty billion questions, but he didn't. No, I, we just no, we, asked, we just clip. fell off the rail. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> every question. I asked, I asked three legitimate questions, and somehow it went off the rail. They weren't even yeah, funny questions. <laughs> All righty, so it's my turn, right? 
Yep. Can I take can I, can I take this, Josh, for one moment? Can I take your can I take it? Take take what? It's my turn. I hate you. <laughs> All of you suck. I'm about to rip another shirt. So uh my first question for uh the red dog here, the uh landlord of the dog pound. He is the man that runs this show. First in command, because uh, I'm the second in command, because I don't run shit. I don't do shit. I just talk shit. So, my first question for the Red Dog here is, what advice would you give to aspiring wrestlers trying to make it in the business? Bro, first of all, like, I'm in no position to give any kind of advice right now. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. You, you've been... <laughs> You you have gone through training in one of the most interesting interesting time periods to go through wrestling training, and you just made your debut. You have some type of wisdom, whether it's the most basic wisdom of all. You can have some wisdom to pass on to somebody listening to this. So, uh, retra- re- re- retrace that answer and uh, go again. So, I am in no position to give any kind of advice, no. but. Don't do three quarter rolls. <laughs> God damn it! Damn. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'll, you know what? Honestly, like I'll, I'll be honest. Um, it's it's always best to ask advice and to find out where you can improve. Um, one thing one thing I I've kind of taken away. I took it from from CM Punk when he actually debuted in the UFC and how he always talks about um, he's a white belt for life, and so he's always oh. gonna, he's always going to look to learn. And that's kind of my thing too. You know, we've done 50 plus episodes of now entering the ring. And the crazy thing was, it wasn't until JJ kind of said it. Um, but this is a show, like, this is a show about wrestling for wrestlers. And that you can find all sorts of crazy advice from here. And we're giving it away for free. Like, it's just one of those things. And I think that's, I think it's, it's true, man. Like, I always look for advice and, you know, just, just ask and be humble. I guess that's the other one too. And uh, my other one that I would have say is, is be consistent. Like if you say you can do something, go do it and do it consistently. Don't, don't go to training once every other week or once a month and then expect to get booked. Cause that's just not going to happen. Care about that? I know a few people. I'm not saying anything else. <laughs> uh, so when the rabbit dog shot his shot. It's okay. I can Aww. say names. I'm not a pro wrestler. I can say names. <laughs> you won't do that. I don't care. You won't do it. You won't. You won't do talk it. About, I will talk about Bobby. I, if I knew his last name, I'd say it. <laughs> to be <laughs> fair, I don't care enough about him. <laughs> I don't even know who he is. Yeah, you do. He's the redhead kid. He was he wrestled for us for a little bit. Who? Exactly. <laughs> All right, then. New Day style. Who? I love this show. <laughs> anyway, my next question, Mr. Red Dog. Mr. Chaz. Mr. Red Dog. My next question for you is. What's the hardest you've ever been hit inside the wrestling ring? Um, yeah, so my debut match um, on C3W, um, I, got, I got hit by Big Trouble Ben Bishop, and he hit me with a Polish hammer in the chest and all the air oh. went out of my lungs. But then I still had a bump on contact, and whatever was left in my lungs went out. And I forgot the rest of the match, <laughs> like just trying to think and get my composure back. Um, otherwise, the second hardest ever been hit in the ring was actually, um, I don't want to mention names, but we'll just say currently he's all about TikTok and not the app either. I got kicked in the neck once. <laughs> I don't know who we're talking about and I want to know who we're talking about. Yeah, we'll talk about it. Yeah, the now I kind of want to know too. Ooh. We'll talk about it after the show. <laughs> Why are you being nice? <laughs> because <laughs> you're being nice. Oh, All righty. So now it's time for 
my last question and my last question is not a question it's more of a salute to you cliff so uh cliff you mean a lot to the three count podcast let's start there okay um when I started this three count, when I had the legitimate idea to say, let's do a freaking podcast, you were the first on my list of, all right, who do I bring on this to help make this work? I didn't, and you can ask Justin this, he was there on the conversation. I did not hesitate nor had to think on who I wanted on here to help me do this. And bro, you have literally turned this podcast into low key and underground like hit so far and we're just talking about being let's see eight months in now your grind and your dedication is bar none to any person i have ever met in my 24 years of living and that not just only applies to the podcast it applies to anything i have watched you legitimately start wrestling in a ring literally from the first day and i have watched you from that day watch you improve watch you get better and watch you debut and i could not as a friend could not be more proud of you like let's keep it a stack let's everyone here on this on this zoom call owes some type of like gratitude to you because you have taught everybody here on this show something. Oh, oh I, shit. What the hell are you talking about? <laughs> you know how old I am? So that here speaking, for that? speaking for everybody else. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, Cliff. I uh, appreciate the time. <laughs> <laughs> ah, see, this uh, is why I have them I'm, here because I'm I have actually, them here. Uh, uh, I'm proud I have, of to, you, Cliff. I really I have to get them on there because when I get too sentimental, they kill it right then and there. I just almost yes. broke this microphone. Like this. Like this. <laughs> Take it off. Yeah. yeah, yeah like, I get to hit you real quick. But um, no, Cliff, you, you, sir, deserve this now into the ring more than anybody else. Like, you deserve this because the grind that you have done in the past, what? Almost what? How long you, you you legit since you started? What a year and a half? Almost two years? Yeah, year and a half. He, year and a I'll half. Like this, he's better than most people when he started. Exactly. True. <laughs> and that's I can right. name some names. We Dante, ain't gonna do that. Oh no, nope, Dante. <laughs> oh my God. AJ, Schizo. Oh yeah. You want me to name a few more? <laughs> yes, please. <laughs> yes, and please. Any of y'all, and if any of y'all got a problem with it, y'all can go fuck yourself. <laughs> well, anyway, <laughs> but um, not wrong. I agree. <laughs> He's not wrong, but no. All jokes aside, though, Cliff, you, you, sir, you, you, you know, you want to inspire a lot of people, and by all means, I do believe that you will do that. But I do want to let you know, I've all, I'm always the person, thanks to Justin and Damien, who have helped me, you know, save my life on numerous occasions. Um, you got you to gotta look at the, at, the, at the bigger, you know, the, the smaller victories. And I can speak for everyone here, though, on this one, you have inspired each and every one of us in some shape, way, or form. I appreciate it. Yeah, yeah. Hell fucking yeah. yeah. So, all right, all right. But, so, yeah, you deserve this. My third question isn't, you know, more of a question. It's more of a hats off to you, man, because you've, you've done the damn thing. And, that's, and that mean, I mean that from the heart, not only as a co-host, uh, not as a host, you know, to co-host, but as a friend and as a brother and as, you know, probably legitimately, you know, actually, you know, one of my groomsmen in my wedding next year, August 14th. He's not making my- it. Because <laughs> I'm gonna fuck him up. That's why. I mean, yeah, that, that, you know what? Cliff's now he has a track record, so he, you know, close people he don't make weddings for. So at least, at least he gets. At least I'll be like Anthony. At least I'll send him the invite. Just you know, just be like, hey, you know, I want you to be this, but hey, you know what? Yeah, I know you're not gonna show up. He's, he's like gonna Justin. ask for. He's gonna ask for his groomsman gift before the wedding. Send that motherfucker now. Facts. Yep. You know what? I'll be 
Hey, Bree, make sure you put Cliff down as like an ostrich. He's not really coming. <laughs> I made sure I left this is no, so she knows. It, it, it'll start as a plus three, then go to one, then none. Right, yeah. He says he's bringing the family, but they're not coming. <laughs> they yeah. were like, well, what happened was. I know you wanted to have Kira there. She's not going to be there. Cliff's not coming. So, um, <laughs> no, nah, COVID, COVID 20 is coming. <laughs> oh, anyway, we're, COVID not getting, 21. we're not getting started on that. Anyway, <laughs> on goddamn COVID. But all in all, hey, it's time for the 10 count questions. Now, um, the 10 count questions will go a little bit differently. We're going to play Fuck Mary Kill. Ah, oh, shit. <laughs> uh... So, we're basically teenagers. Yep, we're going to do that. Uh, we're gonna aren't, play... you, aren't you a teenager? Exactly. Right? That's what I'm getting ready to say. <laughs> yeah, we're going to play Fuck, Mary Kill 20. with Cliff. You're not 20. You're 18. You just turned 18. It has been documented it's on the show numerous times. It's, 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 it has been documented on the days. show that you just became legal since... You don't even... <laughs> You don't even have facial I've hair. I've been 18 for over 100 days. That is not just turned 18. When's, when's the last time you, you shaved? Never. never have a mustache. Exactly. So anyway, it's time last for... Last time my shave was like, <laughs> never. Hey, yo, exactly. John Waters called. He wants his mustache back. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not coming back in this time. Anyway. <laughs> I got this idea because of a certain somebody played this on another podcast. Uh, the person that uh, who uh, requested this now into the ring who decided not to show up. Yes, I'm talking about Jeremy Grimes, but it's okay. Oh, that B-list actor. Yeah, oh. what a dick. I know, jerk. <laughs> Leaving us oh, off to dry like that. Anyway, I, I'm not going to talk shit about Jeremy because, uh, you know, that's my trainer and I'm not about to, uh, you know, run them ropes like you make. Yo, Jeremy. Yo, I will Kaz up. Cause he told us to say this shit. Just to let he you did. know. He told me off air. He said you suck. Yup. He said you I, a bum. I, I don't even bum. know you and he said that he's a better he wrestler said, than you. I didn't right? say that. Wait a minute now. He said Rogaine is waiting for your phone call. He told us that all, right off the air. He said that you're not just a member, you're the founder. Something about being a geriatric fuck. Oh shit. <laughs> anyway, anyway, we're, I don't this is a prop now. I'm using the headset. <laughs> so, it's time for the 10 count questions that I've been trying to get through for the past 5 minutes. This episode is probably already at least 2 hours long at this point, but hey, this is what you get. We might have make we might make y'all pay for this. Um <laughs> So, <laughs> 10 count questions. We're going to play fuck Mary kill. I got it from Jeremy and um what was the, I forgot the name of the podcast. I'm trying to be a nice person and shout them out on, the, on that other podcast. But I don't remember the name. Out of the box. There it is. Thank you. Out of the box. So we're going to play Fuck, Mary Kill. We're not going to do 10. We're going to do five because this is going to get interesting after two. So Fuck, Mary Kill. We're going to start. We're going to start easy. We're going to start easy. All right. Here's your three options. Trish, Lita, and Maurice. Oh wow! Um, you can tell this is a, a you can tell this is a podcast with a bunch of guys. Yeah, <laughs> I'm I'm marrying Trish. That is I okay. Be, I can I can understand that. Um, Get the most money. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely, yoga yoga has done her well. Um, yes, it has. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Uh, I guess if I'm fucking Maurice, because I don't know that Ms. and Mrs. episode was pretty funny too, and uh, <laughs> yeah, and then you know, I I love Lita, but you, you gotta Alex, go. she's a skank. She's a skank. You did. Oh, you she, Justin. She's probably. I told you. She's oh, probably well, that, better than bad. Well, I knew that. She's still better than she Trish, probably. though. No, she's not. Yeah. Trish, no, Trish is better than Lita. I don't care what you say. Oh, we can no, have she this. Isn't. Lita yes, she is. is. So no, she is not. She's Just because really she has tattoos, she can do a moonsault. Lita, 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 Lita is only better. better in bed. Listen here. All I'm She's saying is Trish wrestler. lost to, to the queen and Lita didn't. That's all I'm right. saying. <laughs> and that's it. You <laughs> You're talking about point. the chick with the, with the titanium shovel? <laughs> yeah. 
talking anyway. about Ric Flair disguised <laughs> as a woman in the women's division. Anyway. Hey, is she still getting over, though? So that's all that matters. Anyway. <laughs> my next, really? We're not doing this. This is not a debate show. But I will always believe that Trish is better than Lita. But anyway. Lies. Next question. Next, next uh, fuck, Mary kill round. All right, Clifford. This is where things get a little uh, spicy. Fuck, Mary kill. I'm giving Sasha Banks. Mandy Rose Can I get a drum and roll? Can I get a drum roll for this one? Fine. He doesn't even know. <laughs> he really doesn't. He's got nothing. I don't have a suck. I don't have a, <laughs> I didn't have a third one. But no, all right. We, <laughs> Sasha Banks, Mandy Rose, and then we'll go with uh, Johnny Gargano's wife. Candice LeRae. Johnny Gargano's wife. Okay, cool. Candice LeRae. Call so, her name. J- Johnny Gargano's wife. Put some respect on that woman's name. Absolutely not. She's friends with Dick Boy. <laughs> <laughs> Your favorite okay. wrestler you need? Right. My least favorite wrestler. He did Next wish you a happy birthday. Yep. <laughs> He's your favorite. All right. I, I want to hear this clip. Let's go. All right. Um, yeah, let's just be real. Man. Mandy got to go. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Uh, Candace, you know, uh, Candace, hey, we just, we just stay fucking. But uh, I'm marrying Sasha Banks. You're there you go. Seven. You're a smart you man. Heard, you got six. You, you heard got six head. feelings. So yeah, bad. He did. You heard You're so killing bad. Mandy? Yeah. You cut him deep. You're a smart man. Sasha ain't got no boobs. Listen. The betrayal listen. all over Chaz's face. Sasha is no, right? 10 out of 10. Let me, let, me, let me explain why, right? I like Candice LeRae. I, I do. You don't, you don't have to like her. That's not, that's not of your choice. That's, that's fine. But I'm marrying Sasha because I like Sasha too. Out of all three of them, though, when it comes to someone I don't like the most, unfortunately, Mandy is sitting third on the list. So, therefore, Mandy got to go. I like Mandy. I think she looks like she'd be very fun to be, like, hanging out with all the time. But I'll be honest, man, I kind of want to kick it with Mercedes. <laughs> <laughs> all righty, all righty, all righty. Here we go. Third one. All right. Braun Strowman, <laughs> Drew, Mac- <laughs> Drew McIntyre. <laughs> Randy Orton. All right. Wow. I got to I gotta pick. Braun's too much man for him. Braun got to die. <laughs> <gotta die. laughs> Braun got to go. <laughs> hey, at least the three count podcast is, is very inclusive. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah, I'm just going to say it, man. Braun, Braun got to go, man. You know what? I don't blame yeah. you. I don't blame you. I don't blame you. He's got the least that's money. That's a big dude. <laughs> he also got to say, say some things about the indies. It was something that he never did. Um, to be uh, after that, I, I don't know. I marry Randy. He seems like the kind of dude that <laughs> he seems like he's got a, good a lot of money too. He's got the most the one money. Thing, yeah, and the good one choice. thing too is that I don't know if I've ever heard of a controversy with Randy Orton, like as far as like cheating on his wife. You know what I mean? Bro. No, I've heard him with I some other. So. I've heard some other shit, but I've never heard him with that. But then. <laughs> You know what? Gotta say fucking the sexy Scott, man. I can't hide I can't can't hate it. <laughs> all, right, all right. All righty. Here we go. For the fourth one. Here we go. Britt Baker. Okay. Vicky Guerrero. Ooh. Excuse me. Okay. Fabulous Mula. Ooh. <laughs> oh, I already know who he's gonna kill. Yeah, it's like <laughs> fabulous gotta go. Oh man. He's like right off the jump. <laughs> right. Um, I'm marrying Vicky. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. <laughs> and, hey. then I, and then I stay fucking uh, Brit. <laughs> That's how we okay. go. And this last one, I've already came up with. I came up with this in the be- you know, on my car ride home. And I knew that it was going to change by the time I got here because uh, I don't have to work tomorrow. So I'm going to finish this before I do mine. <laughs> that was, I was going to wait to tell you. I don't have work, so guess what? This is uh, going bye-bye. So let's take a shot for Cliff because Cliff is awesome, guys. 
Shout out for Cliff. Yeah. Cliff is awesome. Shit, I'm going to chug this shit. Yeah. Just... You know what? If we're chugging for Cliff, chugging for Cliff. I'm not chugging this shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I have chugging a bottle. Oh, my gosh. Oh, oh fuck. That's done. Woo. Wow. All right. It's my beer. Damien lost beer. his Damien lost his beer. Uh, hey, that's how. That was about it. The only that way that this only way the last one counts is if this this game is uh Chaz, Idol Chris, and JJ. Who you who you fucking who you marrying and who you killing? You know the funny thing is this. Guess what? It's actually Justin, Damien, and JJ. <laughs> oh, please say you're gonna kill me, Cliff. <laughs> Damien can't die, so I was like, if I kill him, like it doesn't matter. <laughs> yeah, that that was true. actually, you know, that was actually the next one was actually Justin, Damien, and Cliff. I mean, not Cliff, JJ. Oh, I'm, I'm kind of curious to hear this one. Well, just we already know for, JJ's dying. It's just for the shits and giggles, the last one. <laughs> okay, I, I got the word. Good. I have to wrap it up. Yeah, that's fine. So. <laughs> JJ, JJ, JJ got to die. <laughs> I knew it. He's, he's probably the That's biggest one, though. That's not true. I'll, I'll tell you. Uh, y'all, I'm going to be honest. Uh, Chris, we say mm-hmm. fuck him. <laughs> 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 he's a good-looking dude. Like, I can't help it. <laughs> I'm going to be I'm, – I'm, yeah, as you know what, JJ, you got to die because I'm going to marry Damon. <laughs> I mean, I'm married to material, so, yeah. The, the super villain. The super villain's got the secret of, like, immortality. Like, I got to I gotta get that. <laughs> hey. Got to get what? Listen, gotta, 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 gotta get what? I gotta get a blood transfusion. <laughs> that, that, is that what they call it? That's it. <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell y'all something. Only here on the Three Count Podcast where you get a now entering the ring legitimately your friend roasting, roasting you. So, um, this has been the episode, ladies and gentlemen. Um, Cliff, this is for you. Uh, you know, you're now entering the room. It's never going to be the uh, old cookie cutter way. So, no. <laughs> um, so, you know, just the boys shooting the shit. That's what this is. But I think we learned more and we got in the head of the red dog. Uh, you know, all in all, if you actually do listen and got through all of this. Um, round of applause for everyone that got through all of this. Let's, let's clap for them. Clap for you because you now get a free shirt from the Three Count Podcast. Message them three count podcast um and you get a free shirt if you listen to this so hey that's what happens if you listen to the three count podcast you never know when you will you know I'll message you guys right now <laughs> <laughs> i want my free shirt so um but yeah if you did get through all of this message the three count podcast we'll see about getting you some three count merch and uh that will be specifically signed by the red dog because this is his now entering the ring, and he will be purchasing your shirt for you. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> wow. let's sign off. So my name is Chaz Evans. I'm here with the Red Dog, Cliff Miller. This was his now entering the ring. Shout out to Cliff. Congratulations on your debut, and much success to you. Also here with me, we got the 47-time I-95, 7-11, 24-7, coronavirus environment, smack your mama because the chicken tastes like crack, racist killing, universal heavyweight world champion of the United States, Chris Idol. The Dark Lord himself has risen from the underground, Damien Fatal. We got the Napster Q, and God damn it, we got Chris' fucking best friend here, Anthony all on the Three Count Podcast. This has been Now in the Ring, featuring the Red Dog, Clifford Miller. Catch us next time for the next episode of Now in the Ring. Be there or... You know what? You're just going to miss a goddamn good show. Rabies! What's going on, Three Count Nation? I'm Clifford Red Dog Miller with the catchphrase. But what I really want to do right now, go to Twitter.com, right? Go over there. Find us at the three count underscore pod. Give us a follow. Give us a like. Give us a comment. We want to talk to you guys. Go to IG at the three count pod. Give us a like. Give us a follow. Leave us a comment. We want to interact with you. Go to YouTube.com. Give subscribe. Turn the bell on. Turn on notifications. Leave a comment. 
we want to talk to you. Go to anchor.fm forward slash the three count podcast and in there you can leave us a message and we will talk to you. Basically what I'm trying to tell you is that we want to talk to you. We want to have fun with you guys and we love listening to what you guys have to say. Also one thing I need you to do for me, the three count podcast also has merchandise. Oh, at prowrestlingtees.com forward slash the three count pod. Please go buy our t-shirts. We love you guys and we hope you love us too. So show us some support, please.